three. The leading scorer is Julian Smith, 18 points a game. Alexander Trutting is averaging 11 a game. Also, Kevin Lagarde, 11 points a contest. 11 points a contest also for Caden Proby. And averaging 10.1 coming into tonight's game is Ryan Parker. Parker really hurt his scoring average against Southwest Baptist. We only got two points this past Saturday. For Webster, they give up 75 a game, but they score 63. They've been in several games, but just have come up short. Their leading scorer, as mentioned, is Wynn Brown Jr., 14 points a game. Also, Carl Moore Jr., averaging 9.6 points a contest. Mark Moore is averaging 9 points a game, and Marcus Becton is 8.3 a contest. From the free throw line, they... Baptist Bible will be at Rockhurst, and Morris will be at Southern Indiana. That's tomorrow night. On Friday, Baptist Bible will be at William Jewell, University of Health and Science and Pharmacy at Drury. That will be on Friday. On Friday, Missouri St. Louis will be at Quincy. Now, that is a non, that is a conference game, by the way. I believe we got a little asterisk by it here. Should be, but well, it isn't. On Saturday, Westminster will be here in Rolla for a 3 o'clock game. Campbell's Range will be at Illinois Springfield, and Central Christian will be at Truman State. And on Sunday, St. Mary of the Woods will be at Indianapolis. So the non conference teams are abundant in the Great Lakes Valley Conference. Over the next few days, as the teams kind of stay sharp during these graduation times at many, many schools, including here at Missouri S&T. And again, they, for the most part, will not resume conference play until January 2nd, although we did see one game there that might be a conference game. About three minutes to go before we start this contest. Miners played very well in this building as we talked with Coach before the game for about 35 minutes. But final five minutes they could not hit free throws and nearly gave it away and then went to uh, William Jewell and just could not get it done and then Southwest Baptist a very good team was able to strong arm the Miners this past Saturday and win that contest so s and is two and five and one and two in conference play Lady Miners by the way also playing basketball tonight that he'll be in Oklahoma as they go on the University of Tulsa in an exhibition game. And we hope to have reports on that game as we go along here tonight at Wilbur. Teams are just finishing up their warm-ups, so we'll take another break and then be back here for the start of tonight's ball game when we continue from the Bowman on the Missouri s and campus with the start of tonight's game between the Gorlax and the Miners in three minutes. Thank you, sir.
National Anthem from the Gil Bowman Multipurpose Building as the band is here today. Good to see them here in action. And the starting lineups, the official starting lineups, getting ready to be introduced. And we'll take a look at what we have and if there's any adjustments, we'll make those. The Gorlocks, once again, will be in their green uniforms, trimmed in white and gold. Six foot south white uniform, trimmed in gold and green. And it's Coleman, Florida, as mentioned. Number 12 is Wynn Brown, Jr., the leading scorer. Number 14, Mark Moore. Number 22 is Marcus Beckton. And number 34 is indeed Carl Moore. That's the only change from what we originally had. Carl Moore, a 6'4 freshman from Jennings, Missouri. Miners getting ready ready to be introduced. First of three at home here before they go on the road January the 2nd. Singleton gets the start for the Miners. Three, Singleton out of Lincoln, Illinois. Julian Smith, one of the leading scorers in the conference, 18 points a contest. Aiden Froby gets the start. Ryan Parker also on the floor. And the big man in the middle, Amadou Kaba Camaro gets the start. The Miners try to get back on the winning track here at the nine at the moment. I would say a very sparse crowd, to say the least, for tonight's ballgame. Students getting ready for finals. Not a lot of fans came up from Webster. And the minor student body is here, but not as large as usual. And, of course, the band's here and the cheerleaders are here. So it's going to be all right. Miners will go right to left. Tip is controlled by Webster. Taking it into the forecourt is Coleman. 
off the right wing. Gets it to the left side. Miners go, or uh, Gorlock's going left to right. Now they're looking at three. Don't take it. They bring it around the corner. Go into the paint. Almost traveled. Now give and go. Into the paint. The Miners steal it away. Not to call to Coleman, but Froby stole it from him. Now he kicks it in the corner. Miners looking at three. No. Singleton doesn't take it. Back to Froby. Alley up into Mohamedou. Little baby hook. No good. Gets his own rebound, but it's knocked out of his hands. And then he's the last one to touch it. Well, Mohamedou had it right in front of him, in front of him, but missed the shot. Now here comes Webster into the forecourt. This is Coleman. Coleman with a basketball. Yo yo's a dribble. Takes it to the right wing. And Brown's got it. Top of the key out to Beckton. Beckton takes it around the left side, gives it out to Moore. Moore almost lost it. He dribbles with his left hand, looks to his right. Nobody there. Now finds a man. That's Brown. Brown down the lane, bounce pass along the baseline. They put it up and in. Nice pass as he got it into Win Brown for the bucket. Miners trail 2 0, but down the lane on the left side. Roby puts it up, no good. More into the forecourt. Again, they drive baseline. Get it under the bucket. Put it up, partially blocked. Then the Miners come away with it. Got it to Carl Moore, but he could not get it to go. Singleton into the forecourt, off the left wing, now goes to Smith. Julian drives, launches a three, no, off the iron. Miners get the rebound, though, and lay it up and in. Proby with the bucket. He was hustling, and that paid off. Two to two. Into the forecourt, go for the Gorlocks. Coleman with it. Doing the wheels, going left to right. Drives into the forecourt, has a shot, doesn't take it, brings it back out. They launch a 17-footer, no good. Down with a rebound, Miners. Beckton missed that one. Proby comes away with it. Gives it to Julian. Julian with the basketball. Inside to Parker. Parker trying to go into the defense. Turn around, five-footer. Oh, good shot, but didn't fall. Mamadou Hamadou gets it, and slams it down. Way to go. Oh, Hamadou for the Miners. Four to two, s and Webster quickly into the fourth court. Loses the dribble. Here we go. Fast break time. It is Froby ahead. Loses it up and in. Miners got the steal and made him pay. Six to two. That's the team leads it. With a basketball, Mark Moore. Now they get it inside the arc. A travel though on Webster. A little hesitation by Wynn Brown, and that was traveling. Six to two, S and T. Parker will key it in and give it to Singleton. And over the timeline, he goes. Number one. Now in the middle, takes it to the left wing. Aliop goes into Mohamedou. Now with Camara, looking at the basket again, lays it up, missed the shot, and then it goes out of bounds, off of Mohamedou. Well, he had another good look, but he just can't seem to find the range from inside. Beckton with it now. Or Webster going left to right. Gets it off to Coleman. Right, bring it back out, drive along the baseline. Trying to pass on the baseline. Ball tipped away. Miners come away with it. And here they go. Again, ahead of the pack. Singleton. Turn around. Gives it to Mohamedou. And he slams it down. The big man from New Guinea puts it up and in. Eight to two. Here's a drive to the bucket for Moore. Puts it down underneath the bucket on the pass play. No place to go for the shot. Passed it. Lost it. Froby gets it. Lays it up and in. The Miners right now running them out of the gym. And a foul on the play as well, and Froby will go to the free throw line. Timeout, though, for Webster. 16.09 left in the first half. We'll hold it here. It's 10 to 2 Miners. 10 to 2 Miners. 10 in a row by ST. They are playing fast paced defense and offense right now. And the Gorlocks cannot keep up with them at the moment. I'm pretty sure Froby will be at the line when we come back here, but we'll keep it here right now. Similar to what we saw last night. It was a 
track meet, and so far the Miners have made it look like that as well. Once again, Miners home on Saturday. They'll take on Westminster. That ball game starts at 3 o'clock. The radio, ATPR, Saturday, or double bit Saturday. Miners lead it here at 10 to 2. Students starting to gather in. If I lose, I'll respond with respect. If I win, I'll back it up with humility. If I fail, I'll rise up with honor. It's tough for us to put it all on the line. Don't undo my hard work with poor sportsmanship. Respect. It's the name of the game. Thirteen to two, minus. Into the forecourt go the Gorlocks. Bring it around inside the arc. Drive the basket. Try to go up for the shot. Missed the basket. And that was Beckton. Miners come away with it. Singleton off to Mohamedou. Now Singleton gets it. Drives, kicks it at oh, Froby. Froby in the paint. Gets it down low. Lay it up and in. Got it back to Singleton, and he put it up and in. Fifteen to two, Miners. Fifteen in a row, by the way. Now here's a three-pointer by Webster. No good. Missed by Moore. Now Froby gets it ahead to Julian. Smith with it. Julio's the dribble in the paint. Now launches a 16-footer and hits it. Julian was open, and that's not good for the other team. 17 to 2. 17 in a row for the Miners. With the basketball, the Gorlocks. This is Coleman with it. Get it inside. Beckton drives. Nowhere to go. Have to take it back out to Moore. Moore inside the arc of the right wing. Goes along the baseline, brings it out beyond the arc, looks inside. Now they get it inside to Coleman, and he misses everything on a 16-footer. And here comes Froby as the Miners continue to pour it on. Froby drives to his right. That's Singleton, I should say. Now back around left side. It goes to Julian. He drives between the defenders, lays it up no good. But there's a stoppage in play, and he may have been fouled on the play. Foul on play. It's Carl Moore. And now a official timeout on the floor. 14-36. Left in the first half. Miners lead at 17-2. We're back in 60. Anybody know what time it is? <clears throat> Back at the Bowman, Miners lead at 17 to 2. Julian at the free throw line. You'll get a couple. The first one is up and good. Smith with six points in the game. Miners hitting 61% of their shots right now. Webster, 16%. And the Miners are on an 18-0 run. Next one by Julian, no good. Ball tipped away. Miners come over with a rebound, though. But he stepped out of bounds. In fact, Johnson got it, but stepped out of bounds. That would be Micah Johnson. And it's 18-2. Webster brings it up. They scored the first two of the game. And since then, they've been shut out. With the basketball in the arc. New man in the game for the goal. Another new man dribbling. Green missing. 
He's down with a rebound, Miners. Rice Winrich. Oh, foul. And shot. And the foul will go on the Gorlock. Nate Jones is in the ballgame. Commits the foul. Julian will take a break. That is the third team foul on Webster. Miners have none. Guardy into the four court with the ball. Takes it to the left wing. Gets it to Anthony. Shaheen. Back around to Johnson. And inside it goes to starting. And he looks at it. Travels. Foul. What was it? Foul on the play against Webster. Newton is in the game. Committed the foul. Now here's a key in. Top of the key goes to Johnson. Now inside. Then bring it back out. Look at the three. Don't take it. Anthony with it. Back around to Ligardi. Back left wing goes to Proby. Inside. Turn around. Oh, blocked out of there. They got it to Johnson, but he could not get through the defense. Here comes Webster into the forecourt. Top of the key. They get it to Brown. Brown inside, then outside the arc. And now they throw up a three. No good. Miners down with a rebound. That miss by Wittichick. Now here the Miners into the forecourt. Drive down low. And I think we got another foul. And this will be against the Miners, an offensive foul. Goes against Micah Johnson. And we're walking the wrong way. 13-27 left. Miners lead it 18-2. Webster has not scored since the first minute of play. In the forecourt they go. Brown with it. Top of the key to Nugent. Back around it goes to Jones. Uh, with a check with it. Back out, three-pointer here by Webster, and they finally break the string with Nugent hitting a three. 18 to 5. Miners. With the ball, S and T into the forecourt. Bring it around top of the team. Look at the three. Don't take the three. Bring it out in the corner. Back to Lagarde. They look at the three again. Don't take it. Now bounce pass inside on the baseline. Around the defense. They lay it up and in. What a shot that time. By the man from the Netherlands, number 10, Alan Strutting, 20 to 5, Miners. That was a complete 360 reverse for the bucket. Now here the Rolex in the forecourt, going left to right. And they turn it over as the man stepped out of bounds, trying to go around the defense on the baseline. Unforced air against Webster. 20 to 5 score. Back in the ball game is Moore for Webster. Into the forecourt go the Miners. Kelly Vaughn with it. Stopping with it. Now it's around to Lagarde. Lagarde to Anthony. Stopping. Stopping up against the defender. Puts it up and no good. He may have drawn the foul. Instead, he traveled before it all. Finished the play. So Let's go. Three to five, 12 minutes left in the first half. With the basketball, this is Moore into the fourth court for Webster. Now they throw up a three and hit it. Woolridge with the three. 28. I just lead it. Nothing with it. Just takes it to Lagarde. Drives off the right wing. Knocks over. And Block and he's whistled down for the foul. And he's coming out. Time out on the floor, 11.41 left.
We're back at the Bowman. Miners leading 20 to 8 over Webster. That's a key 60% for the game. 9 of 15. Webster is 3 of 10 for 30%. And the Miners had as much as a 16 point lead. That lead now is 12. And we still have 11.41 left in the first half of play. Webster brings it up, takes it with the timeline. Woolridge with the ball. Drives into the paint. Elio pass goes down low. Knocked away by Anthony. Miners come away with it. Lagarde with it on the left wing. Gets it back around to Long. Now Lagarde. Lagarde takes it right wing. They look at the three. This is Anthony. He's going to drive, though, along the baseline. Now fall away 10-footer. Good shot. Shaheem Anthony with a nice bucket. That's old-fashioned fall away there. 22 to 8. Miners. Now here's a big three-pointer from Moore. No good. Ball tipped around. Miners come away with it. In the forecourt, they go quickly. Lagarde gets it off to Anthony. He'll launch a three. No, off the iron. Down with a rebound. Miners. Coming away with it. Lagarde gets it around. To the right wing to Vaughn. Now back out to Anthony and he traveled with the basketball. Mamadou will check into the ball game for the Miners. Micah Johnson will go out. Miners lead it 22 to 8. Working for their third win of the year. Into four court, go the Gorlocks. Top of the key now to Nugent. Nugent with it, takes it right wing. They look at a three and they launch a three and hit it. Nice play of Moore. Nailed that one. 22 to 11. Into the, the forecourt, go to the Myers. Top of the key now goes out to Johnson. He throws it away. Myers capture it, but out of bounds, I believe, was Vaughn. Might have been a little sloppy on that pass. Paid for it. 20 to 11 to score. Webster will key it in. Go left to right on your dial. Moore will bring it up. Mark Moore out of Hillsborough, Missouri. Which he got popped in the eye in his last game or in a practice because he's got a black eye on the left side. They're trying to get the ball in, they do. Moore guarded closely by Singleton, takes it into the forecourt. Now drives to his left and to his right and back around top of the key. And he's getting it off to Coleman. He drives, loses the dribble, gets it back again, though. Now to Moore. Moore with it. Tight defense for the Miners. On the baseline. Moore brings it out. Here's a three-pointer for Webster off the iron. No good. Ball tipped around. Webster gets it back. Moore comes away with it. That shot by Winnichick. Now here's Webster driving again. Looking for a shot, no good. Moore around the defense on the right side. Take it back out. They launch a shot from the left side off the glass, no good. And now with a rebound to the Miners. Ulrich missed that one. Mohamedou down with a carom. Now into the forecourt goes Singleton behind the, the defense on the baseline. They try to get a pass into Froby. He went up for the shot, got it knocked away, and I believe a foul. On oh, Webster. Got to go against Ulrich. His first team's fifth. Miners have two. Boy, well, Mahalo is playing with a lot more energy tonight. Anthony also played well. So, Froby got fouled. Was it in the act of shooting? Yes, it was, and his free throw is good. Froby won out of two from the line. He'll get another. Strat taking back in the ball game for the Miners. And Froby will get another free throw. 23 to 11, Miners. Free throw is up and good. Aiden Froby with a bucket. 24 to 11, 9 21 left and a half. Here comes the Gorlock. Going left to right with a basketball on the left wing beyond the arc. Far side of the floor. Dribbling right left is Beckton. Now he gets it out and they want a three. No. Yes, but missed that one. They track it down and it goes out of bounds off a of minor. Singleton in the area. Now over there with Coleman and Coleman threw it off his leg. Lagarde back in the ball game for the Miners. 
On the pass in the corner. This is Moore. Carl Moore. Off left wing. Now on the arc on that left side, out to Nugent. Nugent brings it out top of the key to Coleman. He kicks it right wing. They launch a three. It's good. Nice shot by Mark Moore. His second three, and it's 24-14. The Webster are getting their game together. Off the left wing. Now bring it inside to Strothing. He goes around the defense, wants to put it up. And somebody got hammered. Strothing threw the free throw line as he got fouled on the play. Beckton fouled him. That's the 16 foul on Webster. With 8.29 left in the half. Rothing makes the free throw. And he'll get another. 25-14. Well, since it was 18-2, Webster has scored 12. The Myers have scored 7, so they've cut into that lead. Now the Myers have scored 8. Rothing makes the free throw. 26-14, Myers. Into the forecourt goes Webster. With the basketball, this is Brown, their leading scorer. Kicks it right side to Beckton. Beckton drives along the baseline into the bucket. Loses the dribble out of bounds. He wasn't totally sure if he wanted to shoot or pass it, but he lost control and might as get it back. With the basketball, this is Ligardi. Over the timeline with the ball, top of the key, right wing. Strotting with it now. Here's it back out. Now to Julian back in the game. Now to Parker. He drives between the defenders and lays it up and in. He definitely had a height advantage, and he took advantage. 28-14. Now here is Coleman with it. Off the left side. Launches the 17-footer. No good. Dead ball off the iron. Miners come away with a rebound. Left is only getting one shot down. And they bring it down. Now here's Froby between the defenders, puts it up, and no good. But Rothing puts it up and in on a follow-up. And the Miners make it 30-14. to 14. What you want to do, get that second opportunity. With the ball, here's Coleman. Takes it right side, now to Beckton. Inside, off the right side, beyond the arc. Doesn't get anybody to pass it to right now. Everybody's covered. And he gets it around to Brown. Brown drives in the arc. Tries to pay a little pass down low, and I believe it might have been kicked. Mohamedou back in the ball game for the Myers. Timeout on the floor. 7.05 left in the first half. Missouri has a T30. Webster 14. We're back in 60. The Bowman Miners lead at 30 to 14 here as they have rattled off the last six and have that six.
to study at Missouri s and because when I was looking for different universities that different universities that have a very high rate of job success, Missouri s and has actually one of the highest ones in the state. There's opportunities to collaborate with different organizations like Missouri Department of Conservation and other organizations that work closely with campus. So I'm also a member of Graduate Women in Science, and this is a group that works to specifically promote women in fields of science or engineering where they may be underrepresented. They do different outreach programs, like working with Girl Scouts at the field station. And I've actually got to meet other grad students there in my department in biology, as well as others across campus. And actually got to meet a member of our chapter, and then we actually had a conference we attended, and then got to promote each other there and comment on each other's research. So it's been a really great networking opportunity, and I really enjoy it.
Gorlock's eight, two and one. Well, we'll go back on defense here. As Ruffster will try to get the last shot. Over the half. There they come. Brown into the forecourt. Takes it right wing to Woolridge. Woolridge with it. And on the arc now, gets it back to Brown. Out it goes to Nate Jones in the game now. Off the left wing, they drive into the arc, bring it back out to Loeb. Fall by five, put it aside. And that should count. Malcolm Loeb. Malcolm Logue hit the bucket right at the buzzer. 44 or 27. And after one half of play, Miners lead at 44 27, and we're back in two minutes. All right, David, after this two minute break, bring it back to me for a couple of minutes, and we'll run about five minutes worth of commercial. Five minutes and we'll be back. I don't want to run those features over and over again if I don't have to. <laughs> Whatever we're developing. Model based systems engineering. getting there. Welcome to s and Day at the Capitol. I'd like the body to make them feel welcome. The coronavirus comes about, we are prepared. Because who else is going to solve this problem? Not all germs are bad. I'm working in my mind's eye. <laughs> remember the one that never happened. I'm happy to see so many of you online. Can you see me teaching on Zoom? But just don't cough into the mic or every eye will be on you. Is there a University of Science technology? Congratulations to our best North winner. We can't do a lab online. The equipment can be run remotely. The mini essay is still due on Friday, correct? Mini essay is due on the 20th, yes. I took the minor pledge. I pledged where it face covering. COVID at mst.edu. What's the basic idea? <laughs> yeah, I just <laughs> Or you can text only. So that we can get the best of the best of the best of the best of the best. 
Both Fred and I realized how we had been so overly blessed. Not during the micro, yeah. Truly a pleasure to announce this gift for s &T. The school has made a great impact on our life. Good morning, everyone. The stories are funny. Good to see all of you here. Thank you. Class of 2020. Picture your favorite teacher or professor. Thank you, Missouri s &T, for helping me to live my life. When I was in high school, I wish somebody had said to me, don't be afraid to try new things. I never thought I'd get the chance to do the kind of things that you see on the Discovery Channel. Missouri s and not only had the technical programs, but had a range of extracurricular activities that I was looking for. That included the Solar House team, as well as theater. Being on the Solar House team taught me how much you can accomplish with hard work and dedication. When you're actually taking a design from concept into construction, there's a lot of things that can happen. You learn about how you actually attach drywall or how you install pipes and ducts. And those are all things that are essential to be constructed properly so that your system operates as designed. Participating in theater at Missouri s and allowed me to take a step back away from work developed my creativity and confidence and my public speaking abilities. One thing that got me really interested in engineering was reading books about space, time, and quantum mechanics. When I started at Missouri s and people would probably describe me as very studious, very serious about making sure I go to class and get good grades. I was also quieter, a little bit more reserved, but since graduating from Missouri s and I've been able to apply what I've learned in school grow in my abilities, and pass it on to the next generation. Working with Engineers Without Borders, I got to travel three times to a remote village in Bolivia. We worked with the village to solve the problems that they face every day, including water distribution and water filtration. I learned what it was like to travel to a new country and meet people of a different culture. I learned what it was like to work with people when you don't speak the same language. After the irrigation system was installed, our team members had the opportunity to teach the villagers how to operate the system. And just watching college students from middle of Missouri showing these villagers how to operate their systems and not using language and not allowing language to be a barrier was really powerful. Today, I'm a building performance engineer. I work with architects and other engineers to optimize the energy performance of buildings. So that might include adding overhangs to windows to reduce the solar gain, or increasing the insulation in the walls to help remedy heat transfer. I do think my job is saving the world. Designing buildings to use less energy and designing buildings that are sustainable and conscious of their environment is really important. I'm Anna Osborne. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. I was raised to work hard, respect nature, and never leave the lights on. I feel like something came apart. You're dead. Died. You died. Yeah. Reset. Most important thing is get his pants back on. We're here because we're working with the students from the Missouri s and rover team on how to best use our Mars suit on a simulated Mars. Earth to Mars, you lost your pants. Does that happen to you often? Not very often, no. 
One of the things you have to do when you build a suit for experimental Mars is experiment with it. So we brought it out to the experimental mine so that the kids from Missouri S&T's award-winning Mars rover team can try the suit on, tell us what they like about it, what they don't like about it, walk around in it. Just get up to the top of the ridge however feels best, okay? Sounds good. See how it works for them, how fast they tire out, what adjustments need to be made in the suit. So far so good? Yep. And see if the rover can actually hand them tools and do other things with the suit that a real Mars explorer might have to do. Earth to Mars, how would you like to have the rover team bring the rover over? Yeah, that sounds good. Red rover, red rover, send Griffin on over. <laughs> Mars to Earth, bring the rover down. Today we're coming out with last year's rover Griffin to the experimental mine here on campus. We're performing the tasks that you wouldn't send an astronaut out in the field to do in an EVA mission. Head on out. Awesome. Feel like you can keep going for another few hours? Uh, if I uh, worked out a little more, yeah. <laughs> Is your nose itchy? Yeah. It will be. It will be. Yeah. 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 Yeah, <laughs> of course. You kind of had to get a new center of balance. I could usually just hop over rocks, but doing that, you have to really take your time. Or to Mars, would you care to go for a small stroll? Yeah, I'm right. The Mars rover that we're building is supposed to work alongside astronauts on Mars, and it's a, a perfect experience for us. It goes hand in hand with what we're trying to do on Mars rover. I remember thinking, sure, guys, we'll build a fitness center. That's something they let students do. We'll talk through how this would have to happen, start to finish, the programming effort, the design, the Board of Curators approval, and I got to watch the whole thing come to life before my eyes. For me, this project has been a tremendous learning opportunity because I'm a student in architectural engineering and I'll be graduating in May. But on a more macro level, it's a testament to what we as students can do when we advocate for ourselves and our needs and really put the work in. But for a different student, this fitness center will be a place they come to decompress. For someone else, this will be the gym where they train to become one of the top collegiate powerlifters in the nation. And I'd like to thank the students that filled out the survey that allowed us to point to this and that I was able to play some small role in creating that place for all those students means the world to me and more. At the break, a couple minutes to go before we start the second half. Uh, looking at the notes this evening, I, I must have missed this along the way. I certainly didn't know this. But Bill Walker, when he was with the Miners, averaged almost 10 points a game with the Miners during his career. He was the first Miner ever, back in 1987, I believe it said, to hit the first Miner three-pointer. A little history there for you. And speaking of basketball, across the way is John Brown. John, of course, a Rollo resident. In his great playing days. Playing with a nice goal at Dixon, of course. Played for Mizzou, one of the greatest players ever for Mizzou. And then went on to play for the Atlanta Hawks, among other teams, in the NBA. John, a real estate uh, man here in town. And we talked about uh, Chad Chocolate last night at being one of the top ten or five or ten athletes in the county. Of course, he was an overall athlete, played football and basketball, but John Brown would happily have to be considered one of the top ten of all time in this area. Went on an NBA career, uh, was an incredible player during his time at Mizzou, brought them prominence, really brought the program back 
along with Norm Stewart years ago when they were losing 20 games a year, and he came to the school, and they started being a 20-game winner, an NCAA participant. John Brown was a very special player, and he certainly, along those lines, was being considered some of the greatest athletes in this region, he certainly has to fall in the top five, top, top six list. You don't think about it as much because of the contemporary players, but a very quiet man who really set the tone from the two basketball. A little Dixon, Missouri. You ever been to that gym over there? And it's quite intimate, if you will. Not a lot of seats, not a lot of room. But he did it all and then took it to Missouri and did it there, too. I think injuries really hurt him in the NBA, but the bottom line is one of those players, like Chad Shockley, from this region that were just amazing athletes over the last 40 or 50 years. Might as well key it in going left to right on your radio dial. Ian Parker will do that for the Miners, leading by 17. Webster got the last bucket of the first half to cut the lead from 20 to 17. Now here are the Miners. Vaughn are taking back Singleton in the forecourt. Up against the defense, he goes left to right. Now to Proby. Proby with it to Parker. Parker to Singleton. He drives, lays it off the glass. No good. I just can't get the rebound. And here come the Gorlocks. Into the forecourt, they drive. Brown nowhere to go in the arc. Bring it back out. Moore throws up a three. No good. Down with a rebound. Who? Out of bounds off a minor. Apparently, Tamara had position, but looked like he got knocked away from him. But instead, he's credited with touching the ball last. And now the Niners will bring in Strutting. Webster will key it in. Now going right to left. To the left of our broadcast location in their zone. Now they bring it out to Brown. 17-footer. Good. Win Brown with the bucket. 44. 29. Last five in a row for Webster. Niners into the forecourt. Julian with it. Takes it to Parker. Back to Julian. Now back to Froby. Out it goes to Scruffy. Get along the baseline. Nowhere to go with the shot, so Froby drives. Gets it down low to Singleton. Singleton tries to put it up. Instead, wanted to pass it. Gets it back, though. It's knocked away from him. Froby went up for the shot and had it blocked out of bounds, and it goes off a of minor. They had their opportunities, but couldn't get anything to fall. Mark Moore will take it into forecourt. Chance to cut Moore into this lead down. Now he's just 13. Now they almost throw it away. Brown's got it. No use of dribble. Inside the arc. Carl Moore now to Matt Moore. Matt Moore along the baseline. Tried to throw it inside. The ball went off the bottom of the basket. That's what they say went off the bottom of the backboard out of bounds. And the defense hemmed him in a little bit that time. Parker will bring it in. Do it to Singleton. Miners lead it 44 29. Second half just got underway here. Singleton throws it to Froby, almost intercepted. Froby top of the key with a basketball. Back around to Parker, now to Froby. Bounce pass inside to Strutzing. He's triple team. Gets it out to Singleton, three pointer. Yes. Dillon <laughs> with five points now. That was a big one 47 29. Miners on defense now. See Brown go into the arc. Brown pushes it up from five and hits it. Kind of a leaner for Win, and he gets it. 47 31. Strotnik looks at the three and said drives, kicks it left wing. They launch a three, but I'll say Parker was out of bounds. <clears throat> Miners will go back on defense. Coleman will take it over the timeline for the Gorlocks. With the basketball, Yo-Yo's the drill to the left wing. In the forecourt, going right to left. Back out it goes to Becton. 
And with the basketball, looks inside, now goes into the paint. Gets down low to Moore and a whistle on the Miners. Now on the play, it looks like Parker might be whistled down for his second foul, and he is. First team foul on the Miners in the second half. Brown will try to key it in, running out of time, has to loop it in. Gets it into Carl Moore and he puts it up and in. Bill you know, Walker not liking what he's seeing right now. 47 33. Miners lead it. With the basketball. Singleton to Parker. Back around left wing to Froby. Froby to Scotching. Now to Julian. Drives along the baseline. Double team. Spin move. Puts it up a little short. Gets it back again. Puts it up again. Doesn't fall. Miners get the rebound again. Put it up. No good again. They get it again. Put it up. No good again. And then the ball goes back to the Miners, and finally Parker gets it and missed again. Five shots underneath the bucket for s and and they missed all of them. Ahead of the pack, this is Moore. Kick it right side. Brown for the three. Brown Jr. in the lead is down to nine. 47-38. Big start for Webster. Now Strapping drives, lays it off the glass. No good. Groby follows it up, but Strapping got fouled. Lagarde will check in. Singleton will come out. That was not a shooting foul, by the way. More of the Miners will key it in. How they get it down low to Strapping, almost throw it away. He gets a handle on it, puts it up, no good. Ball tipped out of there and out of bounds on. Like it was out on Webster. He come out running and gunning, have these Gorlocks. And have cut the lead to nine with 16.20 left in the second half. Parker will key it in for the Miners. Hit it out to Julian. Smith for the basketball. Back right wing to Parker. Now to Smith. Smith drives on the defense, goes up for the shot, and a whistle and a foul. Foul on the play against Coleman. That's his third. And he fouled Julian before he got to the basket, so that's a one and one situation here. Free throw up. Good. Well, I guess he was in the act of shooting, because I'll give him two, no matter what. He made that one, he'll get another. Free throw up. Good again. Back to a. Uh, 13-point lead, 49-36, and now into the forecourt. Gerlachs quickly get to the basket, and Beckton puts it up and in. 49-38. Broby with it. Now to Julian on the left side. Julian out to Parker. Now they get it along the baseline. Drive, lay it up. I oh, don't go. Miners just missed it. Beckton into the forecourt with the ball quickly ahead of the defense. Now he gets it down low. They drive the basket. No good. Ball tipped out of there, and the Miners come away with it. And whistle stops play. Foul on the play, I believe, against Jones, who's in the game and drove the bucket. It is against him. That's his second. So after he missed the shot, he committed a foul. 49-38, Miners. And we're back in 60. Strong here in the second half. Got the lead at nine. Now it's 11, 49 38 with 15 36 left in the 
second half of play. Niners will get it and bring it up. Right thing will do that. And gets it to Singleton. He'll take it over the timeline. Singleton guarded closely, gets into the forecourt. In right wing, out of the guarding. Strotting, Strotting behind his back pass. Gets it to Singleton. Oh, a nice shot that time by Dylan Singleton. A runner in the paint, and he put it up and in. 51 38 minors. Jones with it. On right to left, other goal lock. Jones drives, puts it off the glass. Yes, sir. He's a big man, and he gets two. 51 40. Into the fourth court with a ball. This is Julian. William drives into the arc, brings it back out to Strutting, not a Lagarde. Back around to Julian, puts it up and in, and he may have gotten fouled on top of it. Off the left side, got it off the glass and put it in. Foul on the play against Beckton. Julian, I believe that was his 500th point in his minor career. The free throw is up. And good. 54 40, Miners. 14 39 left in the half. Into the four court, go to the Gorlocks. This is Brown around the defenders, nowhere to go with the shot. Now falls back on a 10 footer, no good. Now with the rebound, Strotting. Strotting ahead of the pass, or pack rather. Now gets it out, three pointer for the Miners, yes! Julian with the three. He's done at 500 points. He's over it now for his career, young career. 57-40 now. Miners back to a 17-point lead. Jones with the top of the key. Bounce pass, throws it away. Singleton intercepts, drives on the big man, lays it up. Doesn't get it. Tama Kamara is there for the rebound, but we got a foul on the play. And that'll be the second foul. On Beckton. It was not a shooting foul. It was just a foul as he moved to his left side there. Strotting will key it in. That is the third team foul on Webster in the second half. Now they give it to Strotting. In the paint. Goes around the defense. Little baby roll. No good. Boy, he had a good look at it and missed it. Now quickly, this is Moore into the forecourt. Rifle the pass underneath the bucket. Jones loses it out of bounds. He was thinking about the shot before he was thinking about catching the ball. 13.42 left. In the second half, Miners lead it 57 to 40. Trotting has played well, will come out of the game. Miners will bring it up. Singleton with it. And with the basketball right down the middle. Takes it right wing. This is Lagarde. Lagarde, a pass inside to Parker. And a holding call on Nugent. That is his third. Fourth team foul on Webster. Miners lead it 57 to 40. Out of the game is Beckton. Back in the ball game is Woolridge. Singleton will key it in for the Miners. Gets it to Lagarde. With the basketball left wing, Julian. Julian drives on the defender, throws up a three, partially blocked. They get the ball back on the block. Here comes Webster, and they almost throw it away. Brown saves it, though. Bring it back out to Moore. Matt Moore's three-pointer is good. I say Matt, or Matt, that is actually Mark Moore with the bucket. And he's got three threes. 57-43. Parker with it. Back around to Singleton, down low to Mohamedou. If he hadn't put the ball on the floor, he might have had an easy shot, but he decided to dribble. He apparently spent too long in the lane, and it's a turnover for the Miners. 57-43. 12.52 left in the second half. Here's Brown into the forecourt. This is off the Nugent. Back to Brown, curls around the defense, gets it down low on a back door. 
Jones had a shot, but then hesitated and then lost it out of bounds. Off of iron. Cobb, get on the ball. Last three, Cobb. Switch when you can. Come on, Dylan. Brown will key it in. It's underneath his own basket to the left of our broadcast location. Gives it to Moore down low, and Cabo Camaro fouled Jones. Put the body in to him that time. Cabo Camaro, two fouls in the ball game. To the free throw line is Nate Jones out of Huntsville, Alabama. Free throw up, and a little bit. And he'll get another. Miners lead it 57 to 43. Led by as many as 20 in this ballgame. Free throw up. And good this time. Miners lead down to 13. 57-44. Here's Lagarde driving to his right. Kicks it out. They look at the three. They launch the three. They don't hit the three. Parker missed it. He's rebound back though. It's Singleton. Singleton looks inside. Now on a give and go to Froby. Froby. Tried to throw it back to Cabo Camara and throw it away. And here comes Webster again. Looks like they're going to be running out of the building early in this game, but they've hung in there with the Miners and now a foul on Froby. His second, fouled Moore, Mark Moore. They'll key it in in air forecourt to the left of our broadcast location. With the basketball, they get it to Win Brown. Brown drives between defenders, kicks it back out. They launch a 17-footer, no good. Cabo Camara down with a rebound. It was Jones missing that one. Here's Lagarde into the forecourt. Lagarde in the paint, had a shot, bounced pass down low, got it to Froby. He gets tied up with a defender on a back door and a whistle and a foul. And that will go against Webster. Number 23, Bryce Woolridge. Time out on the floor, 11.47 left. In the second half, Miners lead at 57-44. We're back in 60. at Missouri s and because when I was looking for different universities that have a very high rate of job success, Missouri s and has actually one of the highest ones in the state. There's opportunities to collaborate with different organizations like Missouri Department of Conservation and other organizations that work closely with campus. I'm also a member of Graduate Women in Science, and this is a group that works to specifically promote women in fields of science or engineering where they may be underrepresented. They do different outreach programs, like working with Girl Scouts at the field station. And I've actually got to meet other grad students there in my department in biology, as well as others across campus. And actually got to meet a member of our chapter, and then we actually had a conference we attended, and then got to promote each other there and comment on each other's research. So it's been a really great networking opportunity, and I really enjoy it. Back at the moment, gets to the arena. Miners late at 57-44. Webster will not leave the building. They continue to hang in there. After trailing a one-time 18-2, they have seen the lead for the Miners grow to 20 points, but they've also made runs here and have cut the lead now down to 13. Last foul by Webster was on... Woolridge and will send Froby to the free throw line, and it's a one to make one, and he misses the shot. Miners back on defense. Into the forecourt, Brown. Back around to Nugent. Right wing, they drive the baseline. Now get it inside, lay it up, no good. Ball tipped up again, and down with the rebound is Cava Camaro. Miners got lucky there. Now here is Julian. Into the forecourt. Drives on the defender. Kicks it around to Lagarde. Back left wing to Froby. Froby out to Parker. Parker back to Froby on the right uh, side. Now to the left wing. Back out to Parker. Only eight seconds to shoot. They launch a three. Froby hits it. Froby with a nice bucket. 60 to 44. Miners seem to get the ones they need in this one. That's what it looks like Webster's closing the gap. 
Now they drive the basket, does Webster, and missed the shot, thanks in good part two from good defense. Quickly in the forecourt, Julian for the three. Smith continues to add to his numbers. 63-44. Miners ran off six in a row there. Now inside the arc. Now they kick it out. Launch three. No good. Down with the rebound, Miners. Nugent missed that one. Now here is... Julian again, three pointer. Yes, sir. He's starting to get the big, big numbers now, and a timeout for Webster with 10:13 left in the half. 66-44, unofficial. 44, unofficially. Julian now five, six, 12, 14, 16, 17, 20, 23, 26 points for Julian. Averaging 18 coming in. in the door. Twenty-two point advantage for the Myers. 10-13 left in the half. Bullridge will key it in and get it in to Logue who's back in the ball game. Out from Logue. Won't throw it down low. Then he has to bring it back out. Out of Brown. Goes to Jones. Goes back to Logue. Logue with it. Looks for a shot, doesn't have it. Inside the arc and throws it down low. Back door! Oh, <laughs> Strobe slamming it away from Brown. He had a back door shot on the baseline, and Strobe came up there and slapped it out of here. Good play by number five. Now here's Julian into the forecourt to Froby. Top of the key to Parker. Back to Froby. Proby inside the arc, wants to go down low, tried to get it to Strassing, knocked away from him, Miners get it back. Now Smith throws it away, tried to get it inside, Jones steals it, Jones drives, Jones leans it up and misses the shot. Now with a rebound though, they get another opportunity and miss it again, they miss it again. Jones missed it, then Moore missed it. Run into the basket, now Parker drives, puts it up and in. Nice play by Ryan Parker. And it contort his body a little bit, but got it in the bucket. 68-44. With the ball low, gets it down low. Nobody there guarding number 34 on that one. Moore puts it up at him. That is Carl Moore. Shaheen in the ball game. Shaheen Anthony. Now they get it down low to Parker. A little baby hook, no good. Ball tipped up in the air. Froby gets tied up on the play. It will be a jump ball. Where the arrow favors, we shall see. Apparently it favors Missouri s and as Parker will key it in. Parker gets it out to Froby. Froby with it. Left wing now along the baseline. They drive, kick it out to Parker. Top of the key now to Anthony. Raheem Anthony with the ball. Inside the arc, they are running five-footer by Froby. No good. Miners get the rebound. I got to Anthony again. He drives. Reverse layup is good. Naheem Anthony with the basket. 70-46, Miners. Now a three-pointer for Webster. No, they don't take it. Bring it out around the arm. The arc. Now they drive the basket. 
and can't get it. Miners defensively came over and made the play, but also committed the foul. Trovey with the foul. His third. Boy, Jones was driving it off the dribble that time, and he'll be up the line. 70 to 46. Miners lead. We're back in 60. Kevin Lagarde tonight has played a few minutes for the Myers off and on, but he, I don't think he's even taken a shot tonight. And he had 21 points in the game not long ago. Free throw now for Webster is good. Be ready for some full court pressure here. Uh, let's run 14 motion down here. Jones will get another. 70 to 47. Next one is up. Good again. 70 to 48. Miners will bring it up. <clears throat> and Smith finally gets over the timeline. This way, if he gets away from Logue. Now it's Parker looking at a three. Now to Froby. Froby curls into the paint, kicks it out. They launch a three. Yes, sir! Michael Johnson with a nice bucket there. 73 48. Well executed. Webster going into paint. Brings it back out. Brown curls around the defender. Goes to for a scoop shot, but it's blocked by the miner. Ryan, uh, put Mike on the ball. Get a deflection, Mike. We decide. 718 left in the half. Webster keys it in. The Logue. Logue beyond the arc. Now they get it out for a three. No good no. by Brown. Parker down with a rebound. Into the forecourt. Yo yo's it to Froby going left to right. Now back to Parker. Parker with the three. Ryan Parker with the first three. Seven points on the night. 76 48. Now load with it. Bounce pass inside. And a foul on the miners away from the ball. And they're going against Julian. Who's first foul? Team's fifth. Webster has seven. 647 left. In the second half. Webster will key it in. They get it down low and lose the ball. What a foul on the play against the Miners. Like a guard, he got a hand on him there. <clears throat> Underneath the basket, they'll try it again. That's their own basket. Knocked away by the Miners. Logue will key it in. Get it out top of the key. Yo-Yo the dribble to the right wing. Still with the ball at the top of the key. Logue. 
Tips it off to Moore. Down low, they throw up a baby hook. No good. Ball tipped out of there. And they come away with it. Does Webster, and then they throw it away. Carl Moore had a shot, but got blocked out of there, and then they couldn't recover. Now the, left, now the Miners will bring it up, going left to right. Lagardi will do that. Up to the right side, now to Anthony. Ian Anthony goes left wing. Inside the arc now, this is Singleton. Back out to Anthony, three-pointer. Looked good, but wouldn't fall. Now with a rebound, Webster. Quickly into the forecourt, they go. Drive the basket. Bring it out right wing to Moore. Moore, right around the foul line, doesn't take the shot. Now they take it to the hole, and a reverse layup is no good. Boy, that rolled around the iron. Wouldn't fall. The miss that time by Woolridge. Here come the Miners. McGarney with the basketball. Back around to Anthony. He drives into paint. Looked like he walked. No call. Throws it up. No good again. A couple of opportunities, and here comes Webster. Now it's Moore throwing it down low and throwing it away. Moore got it. Tried to give it back to Carl Moore. And now the Miners, Anthony Aguilar, in the paint, lays it up and in. 78-48. Now load with it. In the paint. A little scoop shot. He actually scooped the pass to Carl Moore, and then Moore missed the layup. But there's a foul on the play against the Miners. Anthony with the foul, his first. And Carl Moore Jr. will go to the free throw line. He gets two and misses, makes the first one. He is one out of three now from the line. He'll get another. Stephen Hawkins checking in for Webster. Also into the game is Ethan Lattimore. The next one is up and no good. Go 0 for 4 for Carl Moore for the line tonight. There's Anthony with it. Anthony drives inside the paint. Fall away 10 footer. Yes. Bounce. Gene Anthony's got 10 points on my scorecard. 80 to 49 the score. Miners. 448 left. Now here's a low drive on the baseline. Whistle stop the play. Foul on the Miners, I believe. Now going against Vaughn. That's his first. Miners, eight fouls. So Logue to the line for one to make one. And the free throw up. And good. And he'll get another. Eighty to fifty. The next one is up. Do it again. Malone's taken three shots tonight. One from the field and two at the line. And he's made all of them. Now Lagarde with it. Over the timeline. Gets it to Vaughn. Take it around the left side. Out of Johnson. Johnson drives. Wants to go for the shot. Is it knocked away? And they might whistle more. Carl Moore down with the foul. Oh, I think they do. That's his third foul. And we'll send Micah Johnson to the free throw line. 80 to 51 the score as he goes to the line. Another the game also for the Binos. The Binos. And so Michael. A paid brifo. Johnson missed the first free throw. He'll get another. This one's good. 81-51, Miners, under five to play. Vogue with a basketball. Top of the key. Drives into the paint. Running five-footer. Good. Malcolm off the bench. Scoring. Now Webster almost, or Miners almost throw it away. Vaughn into the forecourt with it. Back out to Johnson. Johnson gives it off to Ligardi. Ligardi drives on the defender. It's trapped in there. Has to kick it out for Anthony. Three-pointer. No good. Now with a rebound is Webster. Beckton comes away with it. Vogue into the forecourt. Vogue. A little head fake. Goes to the bucket. Misses the shot, but they kick it out to Beckton. And they bring it out. Lattimore has a shot. 
Tries to go in for the scoop shot on the baseline, knocked away by the Miners. And in the pack they go. This is Vaughn. Vaughn goes down low. They lay it up and in. Got it to Briefo, and he got the bucket. 83 53. 326 left. There's oh, with a shot. No good. Miners get the rebound. Three pointer was no good. Now here is Lagarde into the forecourt. Kick it around right side. Regarding with it, left wing, now to Anthony. Anthony drives inside the arc, stops, pops, 16-footer, just short. Miners get the rebound, though, and lay it up and in. Rifo got it before it went out of bounds. Gave it back to Micah Johnson. Foul to play against Moore. That's his fourth. I'm out on the floor. 2.58 left. Miners lead it. 85-53. We're back in 60. Swimmer, perfecting our technique can mean the difference between finishing first or last. As students, we all strive to master our own craft. Ultimately, we are all judged by our results, and that can be tough to bear. Sometimes, you just need someone to listen. It's comforting to know our team at ST extends beyond the pool. mechanical engineering major, I'm fascinated with figuring out how things work. After I graduate, I want to pursue a career in robotics. Maybe it's that passion that helps me in the pool. In the freestyle, you have to be a machine. Moving through the water with minimal resistance to achieve the greatest speed. Win or lose, I want to look back and be proud of what I've accomplished. So far, I am. I'm Tim Samuelson, and the GLVC is me. Miners have had a chance to use some of their bench players here in the closing minutes. Mike Johnson will go to the free throw line from Enki, Iowa. And he'll get a shot here. After making that basket, the next one is up and in. two fouls there, two free throws, I should say, two for two. Now right, they bring it out. And into the forecourt goes Webster, and they missed the shot. That was Lattimore with the shot. Here's Lagarde. Inside the repo. He puts a baby hook up. No good. Gets the ball rebound. Puts it up. And good! Repo with a bucket. 88-53. Into the forecourt. Here's a 10 footer for Webster. No good. That miss by Hawkins. And here come the Miners going left to right. No hurry here. They've got a big lead. Down low on the back door now. Big throw. And they up it in. Off the bench. He's got six. 90 to 51. Or 53. Two minutes left. This is Lattimore driving. Have to bring it out. Gets trapped with two players around him. Now gives it off to Diallo. He's in the game. Now back to Lattimore. Kick it out. They launch a three. No good. Now with the rebound, Miners. Diallo missed that three. In the forecourt goes Anthony. Out of Lagarde. Lagarde with it. Dribbles into the paint, kicks it back out. They look at the three, they launch a three and hit it. Everybody's popping now. Jaheim Anthony with the three, 93, 53. Miners have really exploded here in the last 10 minutes. And the lead is up to 40. There you go, the dribble. Out of war with it now for Webster. Back left wing, now into the corner. They'll launch the three. Comes up short. No good. That shot by Colin Doss out of Patuka, Kentucky. Under a minute to play. Lagarde around the defense. Kicks it back out. They look at the three. Step inside the arc and hit the two. 
Anthony, unofficially, I've got him with 14 points. 95, 53, 40 seconds left. Webster dribbles into the arc. Bring it back out, look at a three, don't do it. Now Doss, back out, long three for Webster, no good this time, off the iron. Gallo missed it, they get it back again. Now they kick it back out, and Doss throws up the three. And hits it. Nolan Doss with the three. 95, 56, 15 seconds left in the game. Miners will hold on to it and walk away with their third win of the year. 95, 56, the final. As the clock winds down, and makes it an official game. Miners win it, 95, 56. We'll be back to talk about it.